say, and then on the other side is, and there's another swath of people who are not secular, but for a large number of reasons, they hate Israel. And that's the people in Hezbollah. They experienced the wars with Israel. You know, 1982, Israel invaded Lebanon killed between 15 and 20,000 people, overwhelmingly civilians. The first time that number was exceeded, by the way, is now with the war on Gaza. It's not a war, it's a genocide in Gaza. Uh, that's the first time that number from 82 was exceeded. And then Israel occupied Lebanon from 1983 to 2000, really from 1978 to 2000, but we'll do it from after the first Lebanon war. And it had a murderous, uh, they called it an, a Gestapo-like torture chamber in Kian. Uh, it was called Kian Prison, in uh, K-H-I-A-N, for your listeners, they can Google it, uh, in South Lebanon. Um, so those people are filled with such anger and rage, and they believe they have religion on their side. Does that make them religious fanatics, you know, like these lunatics like Sam Harris like to say these people are all crazy, jihadis, blah, 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 blah. You know, every movement has its, what you might call, its sense of inevitability and hope. I was for the longest part of my life. I don't disclaim it, but I don't boast, I don't proclaim it either. So I belong to the whole Marxist tradition. And the whole Marxist tradition was resolutely secular, resolutely secular, but it believed that the forces of history were on its side, that history was moving in its direction. <laughs> That's not much different than a religious belief. Now, I recognize that Marxists will say it's grounded in secular facts. But the sense of you have history on your side is, I think, common to both religious and secular political movements. Now, we take Martin Luther King. He says the arc of, uh, um, the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. Now, admittedly, Martin Luther King was a religious person, uh, but that's also a secular belief. It's also a secular belief. Look, the secular belief, the old Enlightenment view of progress. Uh, the overall, you know, Professor Chomsky, who was a, uh, was a secular for, for sure, he would ne he'd never rejected the Enlightenment view. He would say, well, if you look back, he says, in general, you'll see progress. You'll see progress. So uh, the uh, Hezbollah, uh, it's, it believes that history is on its side. And like the secular communist movement, willing to give their lives, willing to give their lives for their cause, for their ideology whatever you want to call it. And that's not true of Israelis anymore. It's just not. <laughs>